Well, hey guys, welcome to the Daily Bits. And yes, I am wearing the same shirt I wore on the last video because I literally just started recording again because I had some on my mind. Um, <laughs> so to kind of continue back from the last Daily Bits, let's just talk about something. I always prided myself on being the nice guy. I try to be the nice guy. I like to do what's right. What I've been taught as a young gentleman, a young pubescent boy, uh, that was stupid as shit. I was a dumb kid. Uh, not gonna lie, I was a stupid kid. Made a lot of mistakes. But I always wanted to be the nice guy. Um, I got a lot of people will call me a nice guy. Uh, I kind of take pride in that. Um, I do, you know, me being nice has um, has caused problems in the past because I don't know how to say a couple things. I don't know how to say no. I don't know how to say no to somebody. That's bad. That's a bad thing. If you can't say no, you're just going to let people walk all over you. And that's the case. That's what happened. Uh, I let people walk all over me like I'm a fucking uh, piece of trash or a banana on the road or something. I don't know. Whatever people walk on. Treadmills, um, drugs. I, I don't know. People just walking. But, you know, people always call me the nice guy. And, and the way I took it was, you know, since I couldn't say no. Um, you know, there's that movie Jim Carrey was in. It's called Yes Man Oh, I Was No Man. Um... And it was very hard on me, like, especially in relationships, because I was one of those guys. I wasn't, like, lucky with the ladies, and, you know, I don't care about that, but I wasn't. I was, uh, I only had a few friends that were like me, same thing, where you let people walk, walk all over each other, um, but for the most part, you know, it was pretty rough, pretty rough, and, you know, I started taking a stand probably four or five years ago, I started being a little bit more tougher, um, which, and I guess, I guess that's when I started getting super hyper critical of myself, um, because, you know, I might say I'm a nice guy to you, but I'm not a nice guy to myself. A lot of people say that's a very important thing to do. You should be nice to yourself. You should love yourself. Um, and I never had that. I never loved myself. I never, I always thought I was a piece of shit. Um, always worried like, well, I'm going to be just like my father. Uh, I was going to be a, a drunk, not, not my stepfather, not, not the guy I call my dad, uh, but my real biological dad. Yeah, you know, I thought I was going to be a drunk, drunk. I thought I was going to be a piece of shit loser that's you know, just takes advantage of people. Now, it scares me. It scares me. To this day, it scares me because I do not want to make those same mistakes as he did. And I just don't want to be that way. I, I want to be a good guy. I want to have a successful life, successful marriage. And I don't want to take advantage of people. But I guess, like, as of late, I've been thinking a lot about it. Like, um being the nice guy is really, it's hurt me more than it's helped me, right? You can be a nice guy, but you shouldn't, you should be able to take care of yourself and other people. You shouldn't be a no man or no woman or no whatever, uh, velociraptor. You should be able to say yes and no and not be afraid to do that. Uh, and, you know, I might be a hypocrite because I might, somebody will ask me for something and I'm like, okay. And knowing not, you know, they're going to fucking rip me off and I just can't help it. Especially if it's family, like, uh, when it's family too, is like, uh, or friends, I, you know, I just feel like, well, I got to help them out. And, uh, you know, I've helped people several times and it goes back to the same thing. Uh, especially my biological dad. Like, I don't know how to tell him no, even though I've helped him. There's many times in the past where uh, I've helped him out and he goes back and does the same thing. And he knows he can come back to me and be like, oh, look at me, I'm going to change. And, you know, part of me, part of me is like, man, I, yeah, I, I want you to change. I want you to change. Be, be, be good. And, I, you know, it's what I want to see in people. 
I want people to be good. I want people to be nice. I want people to not fucking rip each other's throats out or just run over them like they're nothing. It, it hurts too, especially financially. Like when you let, lend money to people. Um, and I understand like in the past, I had a rough time giving money back to people. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you because I've had that happen in the past. I'm not gonna deny it. Um, but I've always tried my best to give the money back, and I, in most cases I did. Uh, some cases I wasn't able to, and that did ruin friendships, and I'm sure we've all been there. Um, but I try, I try. Um, you know, and I think, you know, some of the stuff I had, I had karma coming to me, and then karma happened, and karma won. Um, but I... I don't want to be just the nice guy. And I don't want to be a douchebag. Okay, I don't want to be a douchebag. But I do want to be... I want to like myself. Uh, I want to love myself. And I want to have at least compassion as well as a shield, I guess. If that's something... Maybe have your shield. Uh, you know, I, I do have a shield if that makes sense. Um, I am cautious around people. Uh, my wife, for instance, when we met, uh, I had shield up for a very long time. And there's probably times now that it might seem like I still have a shield going on. Um, because, you know, I, I'm afraid. I, I was scared shitless to be in a relationship because all the ones I've ever been in was fucking terrible. And when she came into my life, things changed dramatically. And now I'm married. And it's awesome. She's cool. She's really cool. Uh, I love her a lot. But she, she knows, too. She, Like I said, she knows that I can't say no. And it's a problem. She's like that, too. I, like, she, me and her is the same. <laughs> in that regard, we're just... Uh, we want to do things for it anyone we can uh, but I have been noticing too but hey we can't be perfect and we can't give away everything we have to please somebody because it just doesn't work out and I know it's kind of weird this is a weird video but uh, yeah I can't be the nice guy all the time anymore I can't um, and I think you guys have noticed that like if you come on my channel uh, from a long time ago like a year or so ago um, I was never like this, okay? I was never a big dickhead, which I can be. <laughs> you can tell I'm just the people that are taking advantage of people. Like, it burns me up. Like, it burns me up to see somebody take advantage or bully someone. Um, especially people I care about or just people in general that need help. And uh, these fucking snake oil salesmen just rolls in and say they have all the answers and I hate that I hate that because here's the thing I don't have all the answers I don't uh, and I'm not going to pretend I have all the answers and I'm not going to sell you that I have all the answers on a fucking trifold I'm not doing it by my fivefold though it's got five pages and a sixth bonus page I'm just kidding we're not we're not we're not doing that we're not doing that but you know, I, I am going to have to do a little bit better on that end of not letting people run me over. Uh, I can't be the nice guy all the time. Um, and I think that will benefit me or you uh, in the future to, A, you'll know people won't fuck you. So, all right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon.